Sunday. Welcome to a day in the life vlog. I'm signing off today with my easy long run. This is so nice. I decided to come do it like a trail run through the bush since it's not like that quick. But I have to climb up this hill first. Oh. Up the hill. I don't know if you can see how steep it is, but she's steep. Okay, now we're full doing like a trail run. So the purpose of my easy runs are full just like aerobic work so I'm meant to hit my heart rate at like 135 145 but in between there and I never do it's always higher so I'm definitely gonna have to like back the pace off and just take it easy and take my easy run easy so I can have a good training week oh, this is like cross-country vibe so many hills so what I do is keep my watch on my heart rate not on the pace because if I see the pace I might like, oh, better pick it up but if I see the heart rate I might like, oh, better slow it down it's already like too high <laughs> we're at 160s so I'm gonna back the pace off it's beautiful straight to the spider web <laughs> Oh god, I just like ran straight into a spider web. Oh, it's too much hill. This path is so much better. My heart rate is still really high, but my pace is like the slowest I've done this. I think it's just the terrain, like all the hills and stuff. Fuck it. I'm getting that heart rate lower. I'm not going to mess up my training week. Which way? Let's go this way. Pace is dropping and so is the heart rate. In the 150s, I'm going to get to the 140s. I haven't even hit the 2k mark yet. It's how close I live to the bush. Target heart rate zone. This is where the lads come to do their trail biking. This is what Australia sounds like. Oh yeah. Looks like I'm in the outback right now. Actually, you know what? It feels like I'm in the outback. I have outback vibes. Like I love it. I'm trying to take a thumbnail. My heart rate is 150. I feel like I'm in Hunger Games. Oh, yuck. It's actually deafening. What a jump. <laughs> I have no idea where I am right now. I'm trying to find my way back. Oh, just hit 4k. Whoa. Oh shit, this is scary to run. Where am I? Oh. I'm back. That was way, heart rate was too high. I underestimated the difficulty of running like on hills and different terrain. The door's locked. I underestimated the difficulty of like mountain terrain almost. Um, so my heart rate was a bit too high but it was heaps slower um, i only got like just over 5k in the 30 minutes i usually get closer to 6k but like my heart rate was just too high and it was like difficult on that like hills and rocks and freaking yeah anyway i'm home now so it's time to re see you <laughs> Amazing. We got the almond butter and these protein oats. Delicious.
Yum. Okay, so for brekkie, I'm just doing my OG go-to brekkie. My protein oats. I saw that coming. Topped with some fresh fruit, frozen bloobs mixed in, and almond butter. If you guys saw my recent vlog, this is like almost the same brekkie as that. Just I put peach instead of banana. I mentioned in that vlog that I'm going through a massive almond butter phase. How good does that look? And then I have a blue magic tea that I got at the Easter show literally three years ago 2019 and i like still have some left and i hadn't opened it in so long and the lid completely rusted um and it like took me so long to get it off I had to like crowbar it off with a knife anyway it's like butterfly pea chamomile rose petals so good so i'm gonna have brekkie now and then i have i have about an hour until the podcast recording that i have that i'll tell you guys about i'm just gonna do a little bit of work at my computer bit of editing of the last vlog I filmed and then get changed and stuff but yeah I've lately been in this really weird mood where I want to do like a mukbang video and just like eat and chat to you guys but I don't know if it's like really weird um but anyway also I wouldn't do an oat mukbang I mean like <laughs> that sounds amazing but like is that really weird I don't know let me know your thoughts lol if I've already like up uploaded a mukbang since then because I'm like really impatient when I get an idea to do something I don't want to wait I want to like do it straight away also, I look like an actual egg, but I did just do like 5k of running through the bush, so. Mm. This protein powder in the oats, oh, it's these are thick. I like my oats thick, but this protein powder, this new protein powder is so good. I mean, so annoying, but like, I don't know how long they're going to be around for. So, Macromac released like four limited edition flavors. They're all almond proteins. I don't think any of them are the peanut proteins. And they're so good. Um, so I think I need to restock up on them. But also, like, please try them before they um, don't stock them anymore. I'm hoping they, like, extend them and they, like, become not limited edition. Mm. Why do I always look like a potato when I do vlogs? I could actually put in effort, but... Well, I should have taken my hair out before I chatted because I look less like a potato. Anyway, um, but I don't have anything more to say. So I'll see you guys later. Maybe I should take a thumbnail now. Cheers. Oops. Hi. <laughs> I'm just filling out my training diary with my stats from my watch. I like to put in like the max heart rate and the average heart rate for each of the easy runs that I do. So I can kind of keep track with like adaptations and fitness and stuff like that. And like compare it to the other one that I do in the week and then the other weeks and etc. I need to make a note as well where I ran. Because like I'm comparing it to the other day when I ran laps around an oval. And I'm going to write trail. Push. So this morning I have a podcast like interview so it's actually not my own podcast um which is Emmy's insight chuck it a follow chuck it a listen yeah it's not for my own podcast i'm actually being the interviewee not the interviewer in this one check that out i'll put a link in the description box below we're recording in a bit so i'm just gonna like clean up my area it's a bit of a mess set myself up get my mic ready and then get into that i actually love podcasting you guys know i can talk so podcasting's like perfect my room's a mess also, these are my favorite shorts, like, ever, and I've had them since I was, like, 16, I think. They've been worn in a lot of training sessions, and they have holes um, through here and here. They're very loved. I used to always want to get the matching crop top to it, but, like, this is back, like, I got it as a present from like friends and this is like back when I had like no money so like I had one like two pairs of Nike shorts like one crop top um and like I wanted the crop top so badly and like me now if I was like oh I love these shorts are my favorite shorts ever I want the matching crop top I would get them but me back then like I genuinely couldn't just decide to get them because like I just didn't have them the money like I was at school um and like yeah anyway I never got it <laughs> pretty much good to go. Why does my hair never work when I try to use one of these clippy things? I just look like, I don't know.
No, I, I agree. But like, oh, okay. <laughs> Dad, do you know what? That's really funny because half the podcasts I listen to start with. Hey, thanks so much for having me on. I'm really excited to be an interviewee of a podcast. I very much value that, but it's also something I'm really bad at um, and something I'm really trying to practice more, like practice what you preach. And I feel like I definitely don't do that more often than I do. What if I fall? Oh, but my darling, what if you fly? To me, that's like, it means like, Podcast recording is done. Um, now I'm going to show my mom her workouts that I wrote for her because I made her little gym program for like at home. Go through this one outside, these two that I know you've like said you've done, but I want to make sure you're doing it good. program now oh. <laughs> okay like right now because I'm gonna I'm gonna practice one of my new workouts in my ab ebook I was writing another ebook why because I, I know you were going to yeah. but the first one didn't sell that much yeah well it's gonna it's like <laughs> it didn't <laughs> and I'm making it 20 ab workouts and it's gonna be like cheaper like 10 mm. bucks okay. but yeah so I'm just trialing one of them um yeah I'll fill you guys in on the new ebook later Okay. It's walking lunges, you know. I mean, you can just do them stationary if you want to. So, do you know what's really ironic? I went to get my phone to get the workout, um, and my notific—I have a notification six minutes ago that I sold an ebook. now four o'clock ish in the arvo 
since we last chatted, I just got out of the shower by the way, that's why my hair is wet. I spent the rest of the Arvo editing. I've been editing the vlog that I filmed the other day. I had a lunch break, had some Avo sourdough mm, with an egg, millennial vibes. Um, yeah, I just had like, a quick lunch break, watched some the rest of the episode of Vikings that I had been watching. Um, and then I spent some time doing like recovery. I was like doing my stretching and foam rolling and massage gun. And I also spent some time doing like emails and stuff like that. So yeah, that's what I've been doing. Now, something that I've had on my list for ages is using my Macro Mac baking mixes. I've got like a couple of these baking mixes that I bought and I've been like meaning to bake some of them for ages. And this one was actually one of the Christmas baking mixes. So I'm gonna bake this. This is a double choc cookie mix. So all you have to do is mix with plant milk and then bake it. So I'm gonna do that now and then try those out. It says it literally takes eight to 10 minutes. Let's bake this and see how it turns out. Literally all you add is 90 to 100 mils of plant milk to this. Mix it, put it in, like roll it up in dough balls, put them on a non-stick tray and bake them. Yum. Love it. Almond milk. Cookies are in the oven, licking the bowl clean. Mm. Ooh, rich. Oh, look at that. How yummy. Chalk chip and marshmallow. Yummy. I'm just gonna have like a really chill like time, read, read a book, have my Bicky to try and a tea. And you know what? I ended up just going along with the whole Christmas theme, even though it's February. And I used the Macro Mac White Hot Chocolate, which I think it's definitely still a product because it ended up being held on and it's just like a, an all the time product now. So it really isn't a Christmas theme, but it did come out at Christmas. Um, and it's really good. So I'm having that. This mug. All right, this is the final product. Okay, I guess I should do a taste test. I feel like I should do like a break reveal. Um, yeah, do you want to try one, Mom? I did them all different sizes. It's meant to make 12 cookies, I guess, if you make it that size. I made 16, but some are massive and some are tiny. This one's kind of like not a good shape. So let's like break this one open and see if it like... So let's have a bite of this one. Lots of thoughts. It's really cakey on the inside. Like, she ain't gonna focus. She's not giving me the vibe of focusing. Like, it gives me like a brownie vibe. Like, it's cakey and like a brownie inside. But it's really rich, which is a good thing. But I'm gonna have to scull like a liter of water to eat like one of these cookies. <laughs> Bless you! Mmm. So I know this is like a limited edition one, but I'm pretty sure they have similar ones that are like just like double choc cookie. Oh my God, yum. Okay, cool. I'm gonna put these in a box and then I'm gonna read for a bit and eat my cookie and drink my white hot choc. It's basically like um, another like protein healthy sugar free drink thingy, but it's yum. I'll talk to you guys later. Probably see you again at dinner. I'm just gonna chill till then. So, see you later. Later. This is where I've been chilling for the last little while. Mm, I was reading, just chilling out, and I got really sleepy and I tried to sleep, but I'm really bad at sleeping and napping. So I didn't fall asleep, so then I've just been editing for a while, and now it's like a few hours later, and my mom has cooked us dinner, so dinner time. So we're having my, one of my fave dinners, mom's couscous salad. I've shared the recipe on my whole food gram. And salmon, which we put upside down so it stays crispy, hopefully. Ooh, crispy. Yum. Love. Mm-hmm. Way too hot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. These pineapps from the other day. Yeah. Um, but it won't be because I get home late from... What are you doing on Tuesday? Why are you... After you training. Mm -hmm. Um... Mm. No. 
you. Hmm. Okay, let's try this. Oh, this bit's good too. Hmm. I'm full and sleepy. Thank you guys so much for watching this vlog. I hope you enjoyed this very chill day in the life. I also want to add that this was not what I ate in a day. I did have some snacks throughout the day. I had heaps of nuts and like grapes and lots of serves of dinner. And I will still have a snack later. So I'm just putting that out there because sometimes I have gotten DMs um, just like about that type of thing. And I completely understand being like, I guess, triggered by seeing someone someone's day and they've like not eaten much and done a lot of activity but that's not a what i eat in a day so yeah i'm just putting that out there i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give this video a like please subscribe to my channel please give me a follow on instagram that really means a lot and i hope to see you guys in the next video bye <laughs>